We recently interviewed Jesse Pollack, the head of protocols at Coinbase in Paris, and he was ecstatic about the upcoming launch of BASE. It's on-chain summer, like let's freaking go. Tomorrow marks August 9th, the official public launch of Coinbase's BASE mainnet. So let's catch up with on-chain summer, the key details of BASE mainnet, and dive into a tutorial on how to bridge, how to access the grants, drops, and prizes. Meet ETHX by Stata Labs, a liquid staking token designed to keep Ethereum decentralized while being accessible, reliable, and rewarding. More on them later. In a single sentence, BASE is a secure, low-cost, builder-friendly Ethereum L2 powered by the OP stack. And if you're wondering why the move is significant, Coinbase is the biggest publicly traded US crypto exchange. And in Jesse Pollack's words, BASE now aims to bring the next billion users and the next million builders on chain. But with so many Ethereum scaling solutions popping up, you might be wondering what makes BASE stand out from the crowd. The new Ethereum-based Layer 2 chain launched for developers in July, and it will be fully live tomorrow. BASE already attracted an impressive $68 million of ETH, having announced last week that users could already fund Ether on BASE before the live network even opened to the public. Total value bridged at the time of writing exceeds 129 million. But unsurprisingly, much of the early volume comes from meme coin DGENs. Coinbase is reported to have made over $700,000 in fees from transactions already. But fret not ye devs, for Base has over 100 ETH in grants for builders and $175,000 in hackathon rewards. Now, before we dive into a tutorial, a quick word from Stata. Stata is a non-custodial, multi-chain, liquid staking platform for POS blockchains. With about $100 million in TVL, 50,000 wallets, and over 200,000 community members across six chains, Stata is now live on Ethereum with ETHX. ETHX is a liquid staking token designed to keep the Ethereum ecosystem decentralized by being accessible, reliable, and rewarding. The ETHX smart contracts have been triple audited, prioritizing the utmost security of your assets. As part of the launch incentives, Stata has earmarked a million dollars in rewards, with 1.5x staking rewards and $800,000 in upcoming LP rewards. Power up your ETH with ETHX, stake now. Now back to our tutorial with a practical guide on how to bridge funds to BASE. There are six ways to bridge listed on the official website. And it's worth mentioning here that users can bridge using a variety of wallets like MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, Rainbow Safe, Brave, Rabi, Frame, Exodus, Trust Wallet, Rhino.Fi, and Frontier. As it stands, Coinbase's official position is that there will be no airdrop. So subscribe to the Defiant to stay informed on any changes. So your first option to bridge is to head to onchainsummer.xyz and bridge your ETH to base. You can also mint a special bridge to base NFT in the process. So we're gonna start by connecting your MetaMask wallet. Step two is to bridge ETH over to base, which will take a few minutes. And in the meantime, you'll be prompted to switch to the base network. Finally, step three is to mint your NFT. The second option you have is to head over to bridge.base.org and go through the process that we just saw. Here too, you can bridge ETH to base and mint a commemorative NFT. And your third option is to complete quests. Now you can complete these quests on Coinbase and earn enough ETH to cover fees for around 10 transactions on base, although there is a limited supply. The quests are available via Coinbase app or the Coinbase wallet app. Simply go to coinbase.com forward slash learning rewards and scroll down. Here you're gonna see the various cryptocurrencies about which you can learn. All you have to do is watch the videos, complete a quiz after each tutorial and unlock the rewards. And the final three bridging methods listed on the website are as follows. Galaxy lets you bridge to base, mint a commemorative NFT as we saw earlier. Layer 3 is another gamified and educational way to access base. So if we head over to layer3.xyz and check out the quests, we see the experience points and rewards we can gain. And if you go to mint.fun, you can connect your wallet to see if you're on the allow list for the mint.fun base bridge pass. Now let's explore the network beginning with which dApps we can use. So we'll start by heading over to baseswap.fi as it has the highest TVL according to DeFi Llama. Here, once we connect our wallet, we can simply click on trade, enter the desired amount and select the asset we want. Gas fees are just 58 cents for this trade, significantly cheaper than ETH mainnet. Now let's also check out how we can mint a base domain name. If we go to baseid.org, we can connect our MetaMask wallet. 
Then we simply search for the domain name that we want. And once I see that jackdunham.base is available, I click on register, check the price on MetaMask and approve the transaction. Here I can also set my domain name as the primary name for my wallet address. So it looks like August will bring plenty of base hype once they open up the mainnet tomorrow. And what exactly does that look like? Here's Jesse himself to give you the rundown. We are going to be opening up base for mainnet and the whole goal of the kind of post mainnet month is to just give you a bunch of really fun things to do on chain. The opportunity is going to be to experience what on chain feels like in this new consumer world. Uh, and that means there's going to be a bunch of low cost or free things that bring you real utility, whether it's food, gaming, music, whatever, it's all coming on chain. And so stay tuned for that. Uh, obviously, there will also be the financial use cases. You'll be able to use USDC, you'll be able to trade, you'll be able to borrow, you'll be able to lend. But I think the thing that I'm most excited about is all the other stuff that's just gonna be fun. It's here, it's time, it's on-chain summer. Like, let's freaking go. Thank you for tuning in and stay defiant.